Corey's gonna take you guys down for the last septic. How do you feel about it being the last septic of the year? I'm gonna uh, see what happens. So, you guys are gonna head down with him. I'm probably gonna stop down today and get some drone shots. So, I'll probably see you later on. Cool. All right. How's she looking, buddy? Well, the oil's good. Oil's good. They have our pump. Sorry, not our pump. They have our tank, our units, and our pipe. All in one big load. Outlet from the house. Um, this one's too low. Plumbers are coming today and they're gonna core a new hole a little higher up. Septic installation, iron on site. 308 cat shovel and our 257D cat st skid steer. St skid steer. Right here, lid, lid. So that happens to be right in the middle of where our new bed is going. So that's getting pumped out today and removed. Let's get some work done. Septic of the year if it didn't pose some bit of a little challenge. Plus seven, plus eight degrees this morning. As nice as that is, we are getting rain. And it's kind of turned everything into mud. Alan's cutting this old pipe down here and the reason for that, it's getting abandoned. But the last thing I want is to hook it with the shovel and pull it out of the foundation. So that's why we're just cutting it out of the way. We'll cap it later. Thanks in the hole. Maybe we'll grab a coffee. I think we deserve a coffee. Let's grab a coffee. Cory opened his big mouth and said it wasn't snowing. <laughs> it's snowing out. The inspector came by, he inspected the sub base for us. Everything is all good with that. We've got Alan running the shovel now, and I'm in the skid steer. So let's start hauling in sand to our base and get the rest of this thing excavated. basically started this thing today. We were here for a little bit yesterday, but just kind of getting set up. So tomorrow we will get all our sand in and get our bed installed. Get this day wrapped up. Another couple hours left.
end of Tuesday. Bed's completely excavated, ready for sand. Uh, we're gonna be hauling sand in tomorrow. Christmas is 10 days away, so we'll see you in the morning, guys. Thanks for staying with us. What's up, bro? What are you cold? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I'll see you over by the shop. Okay, let's do that. I think I think uh, Santa came. Yes, he did. Santa. I got. Oh, I got you a gift. Oh, here. I want them to see it. A little Carhartt Kenway Construction collaboration, and I said, okay. <laughs> and then I got them embroidered. Shout out to Gator and Annie Craig. Thank you. I got good. all toques for the boys. So tight since I tried Magnum condoms. <laughs> oh, I cannot <laughs> add that in. <laughs> Kenny's <laughs> up the whole <laughs> screen. Kenny's. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> good morning. Wednesday morning. It's quarter to seven, and some mornings when my wife has to work early, I have to drop my little ones off. At daycare. Hi. Hi. Rug rats are dropped off. Let's get to work. Did you do your makeup? Is that pimple finally going away? It's going away, dude. Hey. Okay. Hey. <laughs> All right. Uh, Alan texted me this morning and said, "Make site warm up." Oh, okay. okay. Oh, good boy. Look at new toque, new pants. Wow. Somebody takes care of you, bro. Times, Ken. Is that your dog? Yeah. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> All the way, they hang low. <laughs> they wobble to and fro. I don't know anymore of my words. <laughs> hey! Don't don't put that in there, Taylor. <laughs> Stuff freezing in the back of the dump truck. I know uh, some guys, they'll run the exhaust into uh, the panels of the box or something. Kind of heat the box up, keep it warm to stop this from happening. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you've heard of or something you've seen. There's half the bed installed. Uh, there's four runs of three modules each with a distribution box going in the middle. That's half of her, no problem, no big deal. You can almost say that our last job of 2019 is half done. Things are not nice to cut when it's cold. Okay, so we're back. 
It's uh, now the middle of February and I actually got all the holes cut. So been at it for a little while, but they're froze. Oh, you can see on them, it says this side in and uh, you're not really supposed to cut them with a knife. But what I do is I cut out this little tab. I cut out this little tab with a knife, like that, and then you pull them. And they just tear. And that way, you get a nice seal when you put your pipe in. Headers. Hey guys, so GoPros, hold on. Uh, GoPros in cold weather don't seem to mix very well. One, two, three, four coming in and then your tank inlet coming in and your sample port trays, siphon tube things. And then this is what she looks like. So, one, two, three, four lines, three units, D-box in the middle, tank, inlet coming in. I have another footer to put on the end that looks just like this one here. Trough? Do I have a oh, oh, nice, it wasn't even recording. See, that's me all the time, I'm always <laughs> <laughs> Final day of completion for the boys. I'm about to hand the camera off to Corey. I got everything charged up. Make sure you are subscribed. This is the first septic I think that we've fully shown from start to finish. So I, hopefully you guys are enjoying it and, and learning something from it. Thursday, Thursday morning, December 12th. Oh, who we got here? What's going on? Are you talking to yourself again? I am. Oh, jeez. I'm the only one that watches. <laughs> slow to septic sand for backfills here. Awesome, so this is going good. I uh, just got our last load of topsoil here and check this stuff out, you guys. This is the middle of December, okay? Topsoil's been sitting for 
I don't know, a month and a half since we've been screening. And that's pretty good. So excited about that. I got Alan, he's running the 308 now. Ken had to go to an appointment this afternoon, so he took off. Uh, so Al's gonna go in there with the shovel. I'm gonna feed him some topsoil with the skid steer and we're gonna get this thing wrapped up. So Awesome possum. Let's get this job done This one's shaping up pretty nice. Just putting the finishing touches on it here. As you can see, everything behind me is topsoiled. Working himself this way, cleaning up the last little bit. Shaped up pretty good. I left it a little bit high, just in case the winter kind of settles it down a little bit. burning toast you're having a seizure or burning toast you're having a stroke which one is it let me know in the comments 38 and a half inches total pipe measure what's out of the ground two feet so 38 and a half minus two feet is 12 14 and a half so I have 14 and a half inches of cover and I need 12 so even if it settles down a little bit we're still maintaining our cover. That's the way she turned out. Septic tank there, D-box there, two inspection pipes. You got a vent cap over there and a vent cap over there. Shaped up pretty nice. I was a little concerned about the slope of the shed down there, but it's not, not so bad, no big deal. So we got Al pulling this last little bit towards him, cleaning everything up there. And then we got all this access that we messed up. All dusted and he'll smooth this stuff out here as he comes out. Got the skid steer parked out here already. And that whole trioxal load of topsoil, these were the only real major chunks of frozen stuff. So shout out to Taylor White, who not only makes the best topsoil, shout out to Alan Prolex too, who makes the best topsoil in all of Ottawa and possibly the whole world. For me, I want to thank everybody that has watched our videos throughout this year. I want to thank all the new subscribers because our subscriptions have really gone up at quite a rapid rate. So thank you to you. If you're not subscribed, please remember to subscribe. It's absolutely free and it helps us out a lot. Give the video a big thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed the last site work of the year. We enjoy doing it. So again, thank you. If we don't see you this month, we'll catch you all next year. Thanks guys. See you later. And no. I didn't forget about you guys, the true patriots. That watched the entire videos to the very end, which is right now. If you are one of those true patriots, we want you to comment down below. Wrap it up. Because this job wrapped up an incredible season for us, an incredible season for Ken White Construction. If you watched the entire video to the very end, comment down below, wrap it up. I appreciate you guys, and we'll make sure to catch you on the next one. Take care.